2019. 7.55 in the morning. Now we're out on the other side. That's where we were. Down that way. On that side, we didn't walk all the way out that way. We're on the other side. So as we're walking out here on this highway, I'm looking at all the devastation. That should be a good crop of elderberries. We'll see. And we'll see who gets it. But look at the trees broken there. And there's just like pesticide. You can see where herbicide. You can see where they've just devastated along the side of the highway. And devastated some of the pine trees where the hawk lives. I knew the hawk was going to be in trouble once I caught him on video. It was like shit. But... Once it's in the camera, it's in the camera. Then I started thinking, you know, what's the fucking enemy of everything is the wheat. And that's where the child sacrifice came. They probably, probably child sacrifice is a natural biological thing that we do to do population control. Other species do similar things. Lemmings lim run off cliffs when their population gets too much. But wheat and grain, but I'm pretty sure wheat is the grain, the first grain that was hoarded. So it's the first, aka wealth, or extra supplies. Um, so the wheat farmers and the horse people are power and greed. And look at we got horses and wheat. And that's who sprays the chemicals, is the wheat farmers and the corn farmers and the grain farmers, because they want to kill the garden. So then I bet a long time ago, thousands of years ago, 20,000 years ago, maybe 30,000 years ago, when domestication first came in, uh, and I bet women were the first domesticators, according to archaeology, the place Chitalhoyuk, I think is how you pronounce it, but it's C-A-T-A-L-H-O, I don't know, I'll have to go look it up. But, uh, and then the Sumerians, uh... The reason they invented writing and accounting was so that they could keep track of the wheat and who brought the taxes and who brought the domesticated animals. So probably the old people that still practiced forest religion and gathering and stuff and did the child sacrifice and lived like normal people without judgment on lesbianism and gay people. And I mean, I think probably there's a reason and some animal DNA and cross-species DNA in, in the human genome, too. And I think without it, white people are getting weak. Anyway, so, I mean, there's evidence of it, that going on in Italy with the dolphins and uh, in pre, in Asia, I guess, over in Turkey, maybe, with the bulls. So the first people were the grain people and the bull people and the domesticators, and the first people that ate that domesticated food were women. So I have a feeling that the women came in. Some of the men came to guard them. There's probably war. People were trying to, you know, tribal, probably kidnapping or something. I don't know, but I do know that grain was the first hoarding thing, and I feel like it's a supremacist thing. And way long ago in Samaria, the grain... Um, so the religion and the government and the, and the warriors were all the same people. The priestesses made, took the grain, made the beer, um, and then got the farmers to fight wars for them between their cities for ego and gods and stuff. But really it's, it's a survival mechanism, but it's one of the ones that's gone out of control, like xenophobia coming from and racism and stuff. I don't know what I'm trying to explain here. I guess I'll think about it more in a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that the whole fall from paradise kicked out of the garden and stuff, it has to do with farming. And the Bible, I think, is probably one of the biggest lie books, and it's a political document more than anything else at this point. And the farmers that I see really kill everything besides their own stuff and if you think about it Michael Michael Pollan did that book Botany of Desire where like did we domesticate the plants or did the plants cause us to domesticate them because made wheat very successful made potatoes very successful apples are all over the world no getting busy stay right there um 
anyway, that's another interesting back and forth look. But down there are some of the massacred trees, and then I'm going to take another picture when I get back over that way. Yeah. More on wheat and stuff in a bit.